If you're buying a car, new or used, in one of these five states, you better be on your A game because these are the worst states in the country to buy a car in. Over the past six months, I've been doing research in each state to find out which states are the absolute worst to buy a car in. I have interviewed people, I have talked to customers, I have found out why are you calling me from Texas, California, Oklahoma, wherever to buy a car when you've got a dealership right there next to you. You can see the weather here in Louisville, so we're out of here and we're gonna go visit these states to see for ourselves. Let's start by flying from Louisville, Kentucky all the way to the west coast to California. Mmm, California, beautiful. California. I sell a lot of cars in California. If you want to buy a car in California, expect a 10% tax. Yes. After all the fees and everything, just expect to pay 10% above the selling price of all your taxes and DMV fees. Over MSRP, over MSRP is getting rampant in California. And I'm not talking about specialty cars like Corvettes and high-end cars. I'm talking about Chevy Traverses, Equinoxes, even this email right here. I got this email the other day and he's like, I'm just trying to buy a Traverse. You might have to go to another state to buy it and still come out ahead even when you factor shipping into it. Fake pricing all over the place in California, be wary of that. I've shown you those videos before up in the upper right hand corner. We got weak salesmen and bad managers. If you're trying to accomplish something and the salesman says, just sorry, that's, that's the way it is. We're not gonna deviate from it. That's weak. And then the bad sales manager comes out and says, what do we gotta do to put a deal together? Again, a weak statement. You just know that you're dealing with weak managers and salespeople out there in California. And come on, California. Why do we gotta put dumb HOV stickers on our electric cars? Come on, let's, let's, let's get rid of those. All right, let's head west from California all the way over to the East Coast. Yes, I'm talking about the Northeast part of the country. New York, Jersey, Philadelphia, all those states up in the Northeast. I sell a lot of cars from these people. I sell a lot of cars on Long Island to be specific. I don't get it. These dealers over there play games left and right, and it's absolutely mind-blowing. Trade's not paid off. That means that you traded in a car, you had a payoff, and they just didn't simply pay it off. They're playing games with the money, which can affect you. The best advice that I can give you on that is make sure that you just follow up with your online account in 10 days to see if it's paid off. Carvana went to one step further. They actually email you and say, hey, listen, you're over. we overnighted your payoff, to this bank, here's the tracking number so you can track it. But typically dealers will pay off your car loan within about 10 days. So just follow up with the dealership if it hasn't been paid off in 10 days. Goofy giveaways, this happens all over the country, but New York and Philadelphia and all those states up there are just infamous for this. I don't get it. Keys, hey, if this key starts the car, you win it. You know, they're just trying to get you in there to buy the car. Everything that comes in the mail as far as a car dealership, 99.9% .9 of it is trash. Just do exactly with that and throw it in the trash can. They love to do fake advertising up there, so just be leery again. That video in the upper right hand corner will help you there. Deceptive practices, they tell you one thing, it's really something else. Oh yeah, we can do that. We get into the dealership, oh no, it's not something we can do. And this was something back in the day, I don't really completely understand it, but they would fake who the owners was of the dealership. I mean, salespeople would be come out like, yeah, my dad's the owner. Like what? That's so weird. Hey, don't forget, win my PS5 just in time for Christmas. Right now we're doing 10X entries for everything you buy, chevydudestore.com. And don't forget, you could be a hero in some kid's life in two ways. You could give them this PS5 and every purchase in chevydudestore.com, we're gonna donate to Toys for Tots. So let's leave the Northeast. It's winter time right now anyways. I don't really wanna be in the snow. We're gonna head down to the great state of Texas. Now, Texas is the biggest state in the country and also sells the most cars in the country that they always say that everything's big in Texas, including the games the dealerships play down there. It's another state that I sell a whole lot of cars in. And one of the biggest things I hear from consumers is, hey, they're charging me MSRP or over MSRP. You guys know how to deal with that. Addendums, Texas is really big on addendums. Those ripoff stickers with all the high profit, low value to you uh, items. Anything on that ripoff sticker, especially if they're on every single car, don't pay one thing on that. Now, if there's a specialty truck that's lifted, it's a different story. If they got one or two items out there, go find a different vehicle and get that without that addendum. Mailers are huge in Texas. Again, 
throw those bad boys in the trash can. We don't need to win a free car or a free TV or a trip to Aruba or whatever the case may be. And if a dealership is doing a mailer, don't go to that dealership while that mail contest is going on. And if you show up, turn around and walk it right out. Hey, are you here for the mailer? Nope. See ya and leave. It's the best thing you can do. And let's talk about this one. I got over 600 videos on YouTube. I've brought this up in one video and that's called leg. Leg is illegal to do on a car dealership. Like, wait, I can't walk in the dealership? No, 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 not that type of leg. I'm talking about leg in payments. So what a sales manager will do with the salesperson, the salesperson usually doesn't know this, right? Is they'll put leg in your payment. If you should qualify for a three, four, 5% interest rate, well, they send the salesman out there with nine and 10% interest rate. And uh, oh, by the way, what interest rate is this? Oh, it's just figured on average until we get it to the bank. Uh, we won't know the interest rate, but this is just for informational purposes only, but your payment will fluctuate somewhere in between that $10 range. What the leg is set up for is those weak finance managers in the back who are gonna sell you the warranty, the paint protection, the gap protection, the paint, the dent and ding, all that stuff and this is what they're gonna do. Hey, great news, um, you've agreed uh, to this payment right here. I can sell you the warranty and the gap and the paint protection for only two extra dollars per month. Now you see how leg works? They're trying to bump you that was charging you an extra 40 or $50 per month, it's only two. And this one in Texas, oh my gosh, you guys need to get on your legislators in Texas. This is a Texas law and it's an anti-consumer law. This just proves Texas doesn't care about their consumers when it comes to car shopping. In Texas, it's illegal for third-party companies like Car Gurus, True Car, Edmonds, Kelly Blue Book to tell you that a car is priced good or fair or bad. This is market data. So they can't tell you that there's a price savings, they can't tell you that it's a price drop, they can't tell you that it's price over market, under market, fair value, excellent deal, whatever the case may be, they can't tell you that in Texas. That gives the dealerships the upper hand and gives you a behind the eight ball approach to when you're buying a used or new car. All right, let's head west and fly over the Pacific Ocean and we're gonna go to the state that I just visited. And this is my very lame attempt at a hula dance. So this is one of the little estates in the country, so this goes really quick. Hawaii over MSRP. You have limited inventory, dealers have the upper hand, yes. So if you wanna buy a car, maybe look into the mainland because there's more inventory available and shipping a car from like Louisville, Kentucky to Hawaii, Oahu, because that's what I sell most of the cars to in Hawaii, you're probably looking at about 4,000 bucks, maybe a little bit down to 3,000, so it just depends. But keep that in mind that if Hey, if they're four and five thousand dollars higher, that we just ship it from the mainland. So, and then of course Oahu, because that's the only island I've been on in Hawaii. They have those stupid stickers they make you put on your car. Oh, that's so stupid for a nice car to put a sticker like that on it. It's horrible. So if you can stay away from Hawaii, which most of us can. Don't buy a car there. Let's head a little east. We're gonna to fly to my favorite state and the number one state that I sell the most cars into, and that's Florida. Now, Florida is infamous for a few things. I wanna talk about the very first thing, and that's those high dock fees. We've talked about dock fees in the past. They're tough to negotiate, they're tough to get around, but just be leery that you're gonna come into an eight or $900 dock fee in the state of Florida. This is what's gonna make the Florida dealers really PO'd at me right now, telling you this secret. This is a big ripoff on Florida car deals, and that's the electronic filing fee. The electronic filing fee is charged to the dealer of $99.95. Anything that they charge above that is pure profit. So do not pay more than $100 for the electronic filing fee. Anything over that is a scam and a ripoff. Obviously, Florida is real big, just like the other states are putting the denims on their cars. We don't need to talk about that. And this is really weird for Florida. Like a lot of car salesmen like lie about the car condition. I don't get that. I did a video on this, right? I wanted to buy a car, a beater car, for Cletus and Cars there down in Florida. And I contacted the dealership, let them know that I was a car salesman to hopefully not get ripped off. And I said, listen, I need to buy this car all I needed to do is drive up to Bradenton, do some donuts and burnouts, drive down a drag strip a few times and that's it, and then I'm gonna crush the car. Does it drive fine? Does it run? And like, oh yeah, it runs fine. I get there and find out the transmission is blown on it. Okay, I guess I asked the wrong question about it runs because technically runs is starting up and if it's going downhill, it will run down the hill. But you gotta ask the right questions in Florida because they really get technical there. But also uh, a big one is yo-yo loans. A yo-yo loan is when you come in, sign all your paperwork, 
know what your payment is going to be. They send you off in the car and then they yo-yo you back in and saying, oh, by the way, we need another thousand dollars down. The interest rate's changing. Your payment's wrong. Blah, 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 blah. Yo-yo loans are illegal. And the best advice I can give you in the event that that happens is contact an attorney and make sure you keep all of your documents out of your car. Oh, but wait, let's go back west. I forgot one, and this is a little bit of a present from your Chevy dude. Let's talk about Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada probably six, seven times a year. I know what's going on in Vegas, and I'm telling you, Vegas is the worst place in the country, city, state, town, municipality, to buy a car from. Vegas dealers know what they're doing. So first and foremost, you have to really work your deal in Las Vegas. Just look at King for Cars. Look at that show. That was real. They weren't acting. Maybe just a little bit of acting, but that was happening before the cameras were on that dealership slot. Let's entice you, right? Let's let's get you going. Hey, you want a free trip to Las Vegas? We'll get you airfare and a hotel. You're still paying for it. You've got to work your deal. They're not giving that stuff to you for free. Go price an airline ticket and go price a hotel stay, a cheap hotel stay in Las Vegas, Nevada, and see what that's going to cost you. You're just putting in your car loan. Don't do it. Vegas is very, very, very high pressure, so expect that when you go to the lot. That means even if you fly in to buy the car, expect that finance manager to put all of it on you so they can sell you every piece of product they possibly can. They all, every single one of them, 100%, they all over-promise and under-deliver. They don't do any follow-up, so if you're asking them to do something, yeah, just don't even ask them to do anything. They're not going to do it. And then it's extremely high turnover in sales and in management. I have a lot of Vegas people, I have a lot of Nevada people who follow this channel and they can comment down below. Sales managers and salespeople, they ain't there for about a month or three. So after that, they're long gone. And when you go back and say, well, Rick told me this, um, Rick no longer works here. Well, imagine that. It's huge high turnover. Now, I do wanna make one thing clear. There are far more good dealerships out there than there are bad. So don't expect this from every single dealership that you walk into. I'm giving you this information so that way you can be well prepared. And if this does come up, you have a battle plan. The best advice that I can give you is you watch that video series right there. And this video right here is really important as well.